Hey guys, Adam here from the Four Sourceman Barbecue team. We're here today cooking a beautiful New Zealand beef short rib, one of my favourite cuts of beef to cook. And we've used our black rub and black truffle rub on this bad boy. It is succulent, it's juicy, it's rich, it's perfect for a dinner party, it looks fantastic. Your friends will be just blown away. I'm going to teach you how to cook this bad boy and it is probably my favourite cut of beef so we're going to spend a bit of time on this one. So this is our beef short rib. Got lovely fats through the end here. When you're looking at choosing one in store, try and find one with a nice marble through that midsection there. This fat cap you can leave on and some guys do. I do prefer to take it off to allow the rub to penetrate the meat. Here we go. The goal here is to get down to the, the red meat, get the silver skin off underneath here. So you can see we've got this layer of fat across the top and then we've got a layer of silver skin underneath here. So we're trying to remove both of those so that we can expose the beef. I take my time rather than slicing the finger off. As you can see in the background here, Auckland's turned on another one of its four seasons in one day days. We've had some rain, we've had some beautiful sunshine. Nothing to put us off barbecue though. As Ken at Barbecue Boy would say, barbecue is not a season. Our beef short rib, we have trimmed up. Membrane on the back, we do leave on. This is personal choice. I like the membrane on because I like to be able to chew the meat off the membrane when it's been sliced and it does help it stick to the bone a little bit better. So we're almost ready to rub this. First of all, some olive oil as our binder. And our black rub for seasoning. This will help create a lovely bark. It's got beautiful garlic in it, a little bit of chili. It really does bark up beautifully. Creates that lovely crunch when you bite in. All right, we're looking for a nice even coating. This rub, before we launched it, managed a second place at King of the Mountain Barbecue Comp in New Plymouth. And since then has also had a couple of wins. You can also use our beef rub as an alternative, if you prefer. You can see why it's called the black rub. We've got a lovely even coverage there. And to finish off, we're going to use a little bit of our newly released the black truffle rub. This stuff is just insanely good. It does create that 5% magic you're looking for. Really good on beef, steaks, short rib. Also really good on an omelette. Fries with a bit of parmesan. Mix it through some mayonnaise as a dipping sauce. Awesome on with soups mushroom risottos. For the beef short rib, we're going to be cooking on a big green egg. Really easy to dial in the temperature. We're cooking nice and low today, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. This bad boy is going to take about eight hours. All right, ready to go. Beautiful. So we're going to see this guy in about two hours time. We're going to give it a light spritz, check its, check its bark and uh, go from there. See you in a few hours. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. The meat started to pull back off the bone a little bit. Let's give them a very light spritz. So, in this lovely bottle here, we have got a little bit of water mixed with some Worcester sauce. That'll help the smoke attach to the meat and it gives a lovely flavour. I like the Worcester sauce personally. Um, beef chicken doesn't really matter it all goes really 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 well yep 180 and it's looking really good the color on there is beautiful the rubs caramelized it's exactly what we're after right we're gonna go and check on our beef rib she's been in for about seven ish hours um, we're just gonna go and check it for doneness using our pure Q thermometer and we're just gonna check that for doneness uh, through feel but also have a look at the temperature as well for next time Man, she looks really good. Beautiful pull back on the bone. Let's give it a little feel. Yeah, feels really soft. Feels like jelly in there. I think we're gonna pull that off and have a look. Wow. That bark from our black rub has set beautifully and finished with a little bit of our truffle rub. 
It's got a lovely crunch on the outside. Superb. Rightio, let's have a look, see how she looks inside. Nice, big, thick shorty here. Oh, I can hear the, the fats going. Beautiful. Oh man, that, beautiful, soft, squishy, I love it, a little bit of smoke ring there. So there you have it, beef short rib, cooked to perfection, ready for your next barbecue, to blow your mates away. This is just insanely good. For more recipe tips, head to our website at thefoursourceman.co.nz or our new YouTube channel, or a butcher near you. I think we need to slice another one. Man. Beautiful smoke ring. Mm. Holy moly. Superb.